us about how the meeting went, and then we'll open it up for questions. Well, it was a it was a, a day of uh, mostly good, um, a few bad, but uh, uh, I think. Uh, this morning's round and this afternoon's round put us in a little better position. Um, obviously, to take a trophy home, you know. Uh, uh, so, with that, uh, you know, it's, uh, um, that's a sense of pride. Questions for Coach Smith? Gary Abbott? Hi, uh, John. You've been around a lot of great wrestlers, and you've got a senior, Derringer, who's uh, really wrestling excellent right now and has had a great career. Could you talk a little bit about? Well, what makes him such a, a fantastic wrestler and, and the kind of person he is as well? Well, he's, um, he kind of says what Kale said uh, when I briefly heard him that, that it was fun. Well, it's fun when you're whipping everybody. <laughs> you know, um, when you're getting tech falls and pins, I mean, that's, that's fun. And everybody's having fun. Um, uh, he's seen the other side of it. Um, that I've, I've seen where he's not as, having as much fun, but uh, Derringer is a guy that uh, enjoys his wrestling. You know, he uh, enjoys uh, putting points on the board. You know, uh, I think he'll go down uh, if he wins tomorrow. as one of our uh, probably one of our five best. You know, when you really just look at his record and and the points he's scored, uh, uh, three-time national champion, uh, four-time All-American, so. Uh, it says a lot in a uh, you know, storied uh, program like ours. Mike. Okay, Mike Finfroy. John, a lot of talk is about Penn State, not just this year, but their future because they have such good young talent. But so does Oklahoma State. Uh, talk to me about, you said that they need to have a trophy to take home. Talk about what this group could do as we look into the future. What did, like, say, Joe earlier today or Chandler earlier today wrestle those matches? Well, I just think you take a look and you're going, you know, I'm getting beat by major decision. Um, I got pinned in my last match in a uh, side row, you know, even though I was up, you know. I lost 6-2 in, in the blood round, you know, just kind of recognizing that, uh, hey, it's pretty tough and we need to get a little bit better and we need to get a little bit uh, uh, more focused on our skill and, and being able to put points on the board, being able to defend. Um, so uh, I, I just think that, you know, you grow as a team when you recognize uh, uh, that it is tough. Yeah. Front. Coach Smith, Zeb Miller, Flow Wrestling, Go High Outcast. Uh, you've coached family before, but this is a whole nother level. This is your son. Uh, you know, he's in for seventh and eighth. He's an All American. You know, he loses a tough match with Palacio against Peterson. But how much different is this when you were com compared to coaching Chris? Oh, I think it's probably, you know, it's probably a little bit more nerve wracking for me, you know, with coaching my son. Uh, Really, everything was okay till we got here, you know. <laughs> and and then uh, uh, you know things change a little bit, and you want to see him have success. And of course, he's uh, he's developing, I think, and, and he's going to continue to develop. So uh, it's that process of developing that uh, you wrestle a lot of close matches and you win a lot of close battles, and, and those are the ones that uh, that uh, you know kind of wrenches at you, you know, especially the ones uh, you win close and even the ones you lose. So, um, but overall, you know, it's it's been a good experience all year long. Coach Smith, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys. Thank you.